good morning yo how y'all doing happy wednesday happy day hold on <laughs> bear with me happy day nine and um remember we're showing up for ourselves but i started recording because i really wasn't going to record till later because I'm not doing anything right now. Except I just finished my little binge of Monopoly Go. Because if you know, you know. And uh, I was sitting here thinking to myself of things that I just need to do. Like in general, like on a daily consistent basis. And then I had got up. Because I'm in my office right now. So I'm on my couch. And I got up to put my coffee on the desk and then something was like you need to go take your vitamin and get a bottle of water and I was like okay I'll do it in a little bit and I was about to come sit down and, I, and it came to me again like more aggressive and I'm like dang like my spirit guys is really on my ass this morning <laughs> and so I was like all right I'm gonna go get it and I was like I keep telling myself that when I have these thoughts that I need to do something which is the point of me making these videos um that i need to just do it when i have the thought and but that brings me to just being real authentic with this process because i don't want it to be this is why my vlogs are the way they are then they're, they're not the most exciting because it's literally my life or it's literally me getting some sort of download that i want to share with whomever is watching this video um and if it helps somebody it helps somebody but that is the point of these vlogs me doing this 30 day challenge this is me showing up for myself this is me when i have these thoughts like oh i should do this then i need to do it um because the one thing i've learned on my journey is that especially when it comes to me like i like creating content and i know for a fact that me creating videos is something I need to do. I don't know why, <laughs> but it's something I need to do. I don't know what's going to come from it. I don't know if anything's going to come from it. I don't know, but it's something I need to do. And um, I lost my train of thought, and that pisses me off. <clears throat> Let me rewatch this clip. Hold on. <laughs> okay, so I was saying the one thing I learned on my journey is that the more I, you know move into what those thoughts are those ideas are great things come about it um i remember um like this this one thing that just sticks out in my mind right now is a few years back my husband and i we were just super spontaneous i think this was 2021 i still to this day call that my favorite spring summer ever um, because that is the way I want to live my life. That is the way I see my life. Me and me being able to just do whatever, whenever, and because I feel like it. Um, we did a lot with our family that spring and summer. And I remember one day my children were at my sister's house. And me and my husband were in the house and we were just chilling, vibing, you know. And we was like... We should go to Ocean City. <laughs> we should go to Ocean City for the weekend. And I was like, cool, like, let's look up a hotel. And uh, we found a hotel, literally, it was on Groupon, I swear, it was on Groupon and it was the, like, under $100. Um, and what we did was we booked for one night and then we were like, okay, the next day we're going to book for at another hotel for another night because it was like the deals they had. We paid under $100 for our hotels um, and we had like a really good time. We went and picked up the kids and was like, oh, like we, we coming to get y'all. Like we got to go back to the house. Y'all pack some clothes y'all want and we going to Ocean City for the weekend. They were like, what? So we did that. Um, I think we took our first road trip ever. We went from Maryland to Texas. That was cool. We stopped in Memphis and got to walk around downtown in Memphis. And they had like 
people on the street playing music and they had they had something going on down there but i don't remember what and i remember seeing all the restaurants and we was like we gotta come back here because it was restaurants we wanted to try in memphis and um like it was just a great road trip we also went to myrtle beach that summer like we were literally just doing whatever we wanted to that spring and summer we went to six flags that uh spring we just did so much and and that takes me back to my point of like when an idea gets put in your head on a, you gotta go with it because there's a reason you're getting this idea there's a reason that you are uh, getting this thought for you to to push you to do something especially when it's something like you see for yourself um or like something that in the realm of like what you're doing like when i get ideas for content or when i get downloads to share i create the content to post it um and i'm trying to get better with doing that in every aspect of my life um because it's also helped me on my health and wellness journey so that is the point of this 30 day challenge of like showing up for yourself you have to show up for yourself because you consistently showing up for yourself you consistently listening to those ideas those thoughts because they're coming from above they're coming from the other side they're coming from god they're coming from the universe that's where they're coming from to assist you on your journey but it's up to you to listen and it's up to you to act it out that is I said it in another vlog co-creation we are co-creators with God co-creators with the universe they put it in front of you but you got to act on it so that was my little one two for the morning and I wanted to share that with y'all because we being real here we're not you know so yeah okay I'll see you guys later when I'm actually like doing something or i might just post this like this because that's just the real of what it is if i do more stuff later maybe i'll make a separate vlog to go into tomorrow or whatever i don't know but yeah you um show up for yourself <coughs> show up for yourself don't be hard on yourself be gentle with yourself i'm going to tell y'all that over and over again over and over again don't be hard on yourself you are human you make mistakes the shit happens sometimes you get a little i don't even want to call it lazy some days you might get up and be like you know what today i need to show up for myself by giving myself rest and then you rest and that's okay that is okay you need rest rest is still productivity you have to have a balance of rest and fun and play and getting work done you have to have that balance okay so i love y'all i don't know if i'm gonna post this like this or not but <laughs> i got your tell after this point i guess let's talk accountability so i'm proud of myself for continuing with this challenge like i've been posting every day i have been doing my thing you know step one down i've posted nine days in a row okay because today is day nine okay so now let's take some accountability so often i love to take the easy way out of things and doing the bare minimum and i don't know it hit me today because i feel like spirit is just screaming at me of like is my bare minimum days are over my bare minimum days are over there's no more giving myself bare minimum and i don't have the space or the capacity to be doing that this year okay so i'm taking accountability for my actions and i'm not giving myself bare minimum anymore not doing that anymore so i'm making my to-do list for tomorrow and that's that um i am going to be 
making sure that I do at least my yoga every day. It's about to be really cold out. Like today is nice, but like I gotta get past next week because I know that cold front is coming through. So I know it's gonna be really cold next Monday, Tuesday. But then after that, I just really need to get in with um, doing some sort of movement, whether it be in the house or taking a walk. I need to get with movement every day, every day, no whatever. No more snacks, no more chips, cookies. Even though I'm not really big on snacks, I be big on snacks. And if I want to unbig my back, got to get right. So, I don't have any more excuses. I just got to get with the program. So, I'm making my to-do list right now of everything I got to do tomorrow and I need to do it all tomorrow like i said no more bare minimum no more giving myself the easy way out and then being like i don't know why th i don't know why things aren't progressing well things aren't progressing because you're giving yourself bare minimum you wouldn't expect bare minimum in a relationship you don't expect bare minimum from anything else in your life why do you expect bare minimum from yourself and the effort that you put in that bare minimum is not going to get me where i want to be so we're taking it up a notch in this challenge. <laughs> We're getting to the root of the tootie. Um, so I'm making my to-do list for tomorrow. I need to make sure I do yoga no less than 10 minutes. Um, my husband calling me. I be beat. Okay, so I made my to-do list. I have one, two, three, four, five, six. Six things on my to-do list for tomorrow. Two of them, including me doing yoga and then movement. I also want to start getting back into me doing my meditations because um, I'm just feeling pulled to those again, like heavily. So I'm gonna start meditating. I think I'm gonna try to do like, honestly starting tonight do like a new night routine um to prevent me from the the scroll so i want to start meditating like do my shower meditate if i've already taken a shower fine but like take a shower meditate um and just relax um within that last hour or two hour and a half before i go and like fully like get myself ready for bed my problem with that is like i be like my nights are not consistent if that makes sense like it's not i'm not gonna say it's hard to make it consistent but sometimes dion's schedule be up and down so like when i'm trying to make time for like us it just be kind of weird so i gotta figure out something that really works for me so that um i can maintain it like every night um and that may mean i can do the same routine i just kind of gotta switch it up um especially on the weekends that's when it's harder i think on the weekends i'll try to meditate in the morning but during the week i can meditate at night or I might just switch it to a morning routine. I don't know. But all I know is tonight I'm meditating. <laughs> um, I need to get me some new AirPods because uh, one of my AirPods is gone. So I gotta get me a new AirPod. Um, because I like have my AirPods or some headphones in to do my meditations. Because it helps me to kind of block out all the outside noise that's happening within my house daily. But yeah, so accountability is the name of the game this week and um, or today and for the rest of the month. And that's what I'm doing. I'm just really taking accountability for myself and get myself on track and really putting it out into the universe that i'm ready you know what i don't know 
but I know I'm being prepped for something and it's gonna take discipline and like you can have the motivation and lack the dis and lack the discipline and so I have the motivation so now I need to do have the discipline to go with it. Um I don't know what the hell I just said. Girl, shut up. Try and be fake deep. Um, anyway, I love y'all. I'm about to end this vlog here for real. And um y'all have a nice have a nice rest of y'all day. It is 248. I'm about to go ahead and edit this video and post it and just go on with the rest of my day. And um yeah. Alright, love you guys. Bye.